right. Sliding glass doors. They do create some problems. The biggest one is that if they are not locked, the snake can get out. The snake can brush across it like this, it can open. You could leave it open a crack. If there's even a tiny bit there, they'll get their face in there, kind of wiggle it open and get out. So you need to make sure that they're locked. Now on these cages, the glass was actually cut to the wrong length to use these locks, which are nice keyed locks that you can buy for about 15 bucks on Amazon. But I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem with this. cut it here I'll bend it here here and cut it here and off we go all right so basically all you need is something to cut and bend the wire with clamp here our first cut is going to be right at that angle to give us that 90 and our next cut will be at our last line out here I'm gonna go ahead and cut this a little bit long and I can always trim it later this is the piece we're gonna use. Now, this is already, it's a little bit tighter than a 90, which makes for a nice hook in the glass. It also is gonna give us a little bit of play in there. So the first bend that we marked here is gonna be on the same plane, but it's gonna go 90 degrees in the other direction. All right, so my first mark is right here. I'll go ahead and set that in there. And we're just gonna bend it down. 90 degrees to where it was okay this is where we're gonna slide it into the cage and drop it down all I need is for this to drop down at the end so we're gonna go at a 90 degrees angle perpendicular to what we had on the first one and there you have it Let's see if our little DIY solution works. So what we're gonna do is hold the little end, which is our handle, slide it between the glass doors, rotate, and there you have it. Sliding or bypass glass door DIY lock basically for free. If you like that tip, make sure you catch this one.